Well, we're going to pop over to Hanswell Antiques Fair and the uh, car boot sale there. I haven't been there for many years. It's the old RDF station and they've, turned, they've sold all the houses off and the big units have been rented out or sold off privately to become a mass of uh, little areas that people can sell their antiques and wares in. So we'll take a look through that. The car boot's usually larger than I think it's going to be today, but to give you an idea anyway. <laughs> So a flick here, <laughs> and now you two. You name it, they've got it somewhere here. A loader here, five hundred pounds. Getting involved now. Have some luck.
And as I say, I'm just introducing this film now, but actually I've just been there. I bought myself a little globe I wanted, it's plastic. The globe itself is quite a nice reproduction. So I'm going to antique the actual plastic outside and make it look bronze. I wanted one of these in my house in France for a long time. Bought a cheap one the other day and did it up for Patrick. Okay, so the first thing I want to do to do this up is a horrible plastic um, reproduction uh, base to it, but there's a moulded line here that I want to take off. So we'll take this thing apart quite simply. It will just come out of the globe like that. You don't want to lose this little um, disc that goes on top. And there we are, that's ready to just take my knife and I always carry my nice trusty pen knife. Just scrape off this joint here so that it becomes nice and smooth and level there. There, now I'm ready to spray, need some black spray. And car spray will do this job. Take that one. Test it, yep, that's fine. Nice thin coating. Perfect. Okay, it's now dried off and it's ready for our next stage. We're going to use some paint and we'll use some emerald and a bit of turquoise. So we're going to need over this with a, a little um, filbert brush, so a fairly flat brush, just gently taking it over the surface. Now you can do this in two coats. All I want to do is gently crisscross, even a little bit of the dark showing through. And you see how it builds up over the surface here. So we're leaving it darker as it comes into the recesses. So I'm going to crisscross in my brush strokes because what we want to do is get the feeling of patina. It's going to be as if it's bronzed and aged. So emerald green with a little touch of white into it. Very, very small amount. And no water with the paint because the black spray is already going to resist this paint fairly well. I just want to get the feeling of it. Now as it dries you can put more and more strokes onto it. Don't get right into those corners, you have a little bit of the dark but work it in fairly well. Right round all cracks and crevices like this as well. Around the edges. Don't have any black totally showing. And the more recesses that there are, the more texture there is on this, the nicer it's going to look. So I'm going to let that dark glow through there, get right into here, all the way around it, right into here as well. And it helps to bring out the texturing of the pattern on here, the numbers and everything else, right underneath here, right around the outside edges too. Quite a bit to paint, you can go round at first, just to give it a first coat and then come back just drag it around in different directions we don't want it to be too even you can see we're getting these little hopefully you can see we're getting these little strokes of paint um, across the surfaces there's one thing we've there's this technique I've used in sculpture in the past where we've done cold cast resin work and and uh, made the resin look like old bronze this way. It's already starting to get that feel of an old piece of bronze. Now they're not going to do this for you in the shops. So you know you but you buy something a bit cheaper like this. It doesn't take a lot for you to take a little bit of paint and a little bit of effort and make yourself something much more attractive. Even though it is repro, it's got that feeling about it. And it's nice that you've actually done that yourself, isn't it? Somehow we can take something that doesn't cost us too much and make it look like something that has cost us a lot more. Just a little bit of effort. So emerald green I'm talking about. There we are. Now let that just dry off before we come back and put a little bit more green on there once it's dry. And then we can use the, the turquoise after that. A closer look at that green there. It's a bright emerald green 
and we've painted that right up and around to the tip of this. Okay, this is now dry enough to work on again. We can put on a bit more green if we want. I think there's not quite enough anywhere in particular. Before we actually start to put on the turquoise, because it will, the black underneath will make it sink quite a lot, and we want to make sure that our colours are glowing nicely. And that's ready to dry off now, so we can put on the turquoise at the end and really start to get the effect of age. Right, this is dry well enough now, so I'm going to put some turquoise now. Do the same thing. Just go over the surface and bring out the the blues across this. I'm going to mix a bit, a little bit actually with the green, so it's not quite so blue. Right up and into, into the crevices. But again, just over the surface lightly, using the brush almost on its own weight. And I've got to take a little bit of cerulean blue now and just add that to the other blue, the turquoise. Hopefully, although it's a, the light's a bit awkward, we're starting to see the lovely effect we can get of making this look as if it's really corroded just on the surfaces of things, as if it's, it's been growing there. We could have let more dark glow through, but uh, I'm happy enough with this sort of green tint. Right, we'll let that dry off at that again, and we're ready for the gold. Right, we're just going to finish off the final coats before doing a bit of gold on this. So we'll take a little bit of white on the um, blue. And just come across a final, a couple of final coats of the blue. Now, now for the gold paint, not ideal having pussy cat fur all over the place, but we could use our finger. But I'm going to use a, a small bristle dry brush just to take it over the surface and give the effect of brushing off this patina from the metal. Quite a, a dry bristle brush, and we'll just take some of this gold paint into here and just flick over the surface like this ever so gently it's a little dry brush up as if we're just brushing off the, the patina and raising the metal underneath and look at this lovely effect we get as if it's actually been real metal that we're brushing off come across surfaces with it like this you don't need to varnish it because you want to sort of slightly dry powdery surface to the thing as if it was the real metal. You can always come back on with some more of the, I might do with some more of the green afterwards if you think you've done a bit too much. So if I feel I've overdone this a bit, all I've got to do now is get some more of that green and just come back onto it and let that go dry off. In the meantime, just take one of my the same brush I was using just now with the light turquoise and just come back in with a little bit more of the turquoise again just take back some of this cold fraction too wet get some dry paint for this and just bring it back a tad I don't want it too gold it's not too ostentatious just a little bit more green come back a little bit more of that green just into it the tissue and again we'll come back and just wipe that back again Now we could have used deeper browns and so on in there, we can make variations on this to look like old bronze or brass or whatever. That just gives you an idea. It isn't dead, it is for real. So there, we've got the idea of the patina. Now, fingers crossed, if I pick up my globe, that should be dry enough. We can just... Okay, Puscat. So if we put that onto there. Again, bring this up again carefully and onto there. Our globe should be put in working again and should look like an antique one now. There we are. 
a lot more attractive that way. So a little extra tip then on antiquing items.